This is the second video in the series. This is the introduction to the theory of operation of the absorption, refrigeration, protective control. This part of the series will answer two questions RVers have regarding safe operation of their refrigerators. Why is it that the RV refrigerator cannot be operated off-level? How does the ARP control solve off-level issues? Let's review the boiler assembly theory of operation to reveal the parameter needed to automatically control your RV refrigerator for safe and trouble-free operation. As we learned in the last video, heat drives the absorption cycle. Ammonia boils, absorbing most of the heat. Ammonia gas rises, pumping liquid sodium chromate and water maintaining a continuous refrigeration cycle. Therefore, by measuring the temperature of the heat input, one measures the latent heat driving the absorption cycle. What is latent heat? Latent heat is the energy needed to change the phase of the ammonia from liquid to gas. We will develop the concept of latent heat and phase change as we go. For now, why is it that the refrigerator will not operate off-level? The refrigerator cannot be operated off-level because the refrigerant pools in the process tubing. Pooling of the refrigerant prevents flow, which in turn stops the ammonia from reaching the boiler pump. When the refrigerant flow stops and heat is still being put into the system, the heat is no longer changing the phase of the ammonia from liquid to gas. Rather, the heat energy destroys the system. There are two problems that arise from heat input when the refrigeration cycle stops. One is thermal stress on the tubing. Two is crystallization of sodium chromate. We can return to these two issues in detail in the next video. How does the ARP control solve off-level issues? To answer how the ARP control solves off-level problems, the heat input is calibrated for the latent heat energy necessary to change the ammonia from liquid to gas. Simply put, the ammonia is boiled and the boiling of ammonia drives the entire cycle. Because the entire refrigeration system is driven by the boiling of ammonia, the RP control can monitor the refrigerant flow by measuring the boiling of the ammonia. The RP control is reliable at its job because it takes advantage of a simple law of nature. Thermodynamic law. Every substance goes through a phase change at a fixed temperature and pressure. The analogy to this is that at sea level, water boils at 212 degrees Fahrenheit. And as one raises altitude, the pressure goes down. Therefore, the point of boiling goes down, so it takes longer to cook food. The RP control monitors the normal temperature that is the latent heat necessary to drive the cycle at which the ammonia changes from liquid to gas. When the ammonia stops changing phase, the refrigerant flow stops and the temperature measured by the ARP control rapidly increases. To see how the ARP control measures the rapid increase of temperature, the above plot shows the points at which each component of the refrigerant changes phase. Please note that on the vertical axis temperature in Fahrenheit is shown on the left hand side and temperature in Celsius is shown on the right hand side and along the horizontal axis is pressure in PSI. The blue line is the pressure and temperature at which ammonia changes phase from liquid to gas. In other words, when that point is reached on the plot, 
the fluids will boil. The red line is the pressure and temperature at which the water will start to boil. The green zone represents the normal temperature that will be seen at the boiler when the RV refrigerator is operating in a safe manner. All zone information is derived from empirical ARP control temperature and pressure test data. In other words, this is data that was taken with the control while we are measuring the pressure within the system and the temperature at the boiler. When the ammonia stops reaching the boiler, the temperature starts rising above the green zone. The yellow zone represents the temperature at which the ARP control shuts off the heat source, thereby protecting the cooling unit from premature failure and unsafe conditions. Please note the margin of safety which prevent, prevents damage to the refrigerator. Because the ARP control does not allow the water to boil in the system, the sodium chromate will not be damaged. In addition, excessive thermal stress will not be placed on the cooling unit tubing. We will explore these concepts in the next video in the series. Because the ARP control is automatic, RV owners can safely enjoy their time on the road without worrying about things like How far off level is this parking lot? How long will we stay here? Can we see the attractions without turning off the refrigeration unit? With the ARP control, RV owners can focus on their vacation and not their RV equipment. Thank you for viewing the second video in the series. Please see the next video in the series for further information. If you have questions, please contact us at the email address given. We also have a web page that has more detail. Thank you again.